بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I am a brother of yours reminding myself and yourselves let's turn to Allah as I said we have no guarantee we will see another month of Ramadan my brothers and sisters some of us have children some of us have family members some of us are married we have spouses we have greater responsibilities how have you been treating your spouse how have you been spending time with your children remember our duty as muslimin is to hand over the torch of iman to our next generation so that when we die they will continue worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we are still dilly dallying in our own sins and we have not turned to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how do we expect our children and family members to turn to allah when allah says ya Oh, you who believe, save yourselves and your family members from the fire. The fire that shall be kindled by men and stone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that fire. And this is why the dua of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he asked for goodness, he used to say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al nar. Oh Allah, grant us goodness in this world. We all want goodness. Everyone wants to earn. We all want beautiful deals. We all want money. We all want wealth. We all want a good home and good conveyance. We all want good clothing and a good scent and so on. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. The dua includes that. Oh Allah, grant us goodness in the dunya. But that will be of no use if we were to die having forgotten. Wafil akhirati hasana. And oh Allah, grant us goodness in the life after. Grant us goodness in the akhirah, the hereafter. When I die, I want goodness. My brothers and sisters, the currency of the life after is not the dollar or the rand or the ringgit. No, the currency of the life after is known as the deeds that you engage in. So convert your health whilst you are healthy into good deeds. Convert your money that you have in this world whilst you have it into good deeds. Convert the goodness that you have, your young age and your ability that you have, your free time that you have, convert it into deeds so that you can amass the currency that will help you when you get to your grave, my brothers and sisters. This is the currency. And we have the month of Ramadan where this currency is being dished out and it's being given wholesale to us. Allah says, you engage in one good deed, I will multiply it for you. You have engaged in it whilst you were fasting. You have engaged in it in the blessed month of Ramadan. Whilst you were fasting, the condition of salah in the month of Ramadan is such that the reward is multiplied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fasting is for me and I will recompense it and reward it myself. Which means the reward of fasting is not only multiplied tenfold, but up to 70 fold going to 700 fold and beyond because Allah loves us.